welcome back dear all now let's solve a numerical on the bell drives considering the effect of centrifugal tensions so first question we'll see a flat belt is required to transmit 30 kilowatt from pulley of effective diameter of 1.5 meter rotating at 300 rpm so simultaneously we will extract the given data from here 30 kilowatt so this 30 kilowatt is the power 30 kilowatt is the power transmitted from the bell drive 1.5 meter so effective diameter of the pulley that means it is the diameter of driving pulley which runs at 300 rpm so it is d1 this is n1 and this is power capital p the angle embraced on the pulley is 11 by 24th of the circumference of the pulley so angle embraced on the pulley is 11 by 24th of circumference of the pulley that means this 11 by 24th is the ratio with to which if you multiply with the circumference of the pulley that is the angle of the circumference of the pulley that is 360 degrees so the angle of flap will be 11 by 24th so 11 by 24 into 360 will be the angle of lap the coefficient of friction is also given as 0.3 the thickness of the belt so small t is also given it is 9.5 mm remember the unit over here it is in mm but we require the units all the units should be in meters the density of the belt material is 1 gram per centimeter cube again the density is given and the units over here are again in the CGS method but we need to convert it into MKS method or SI units the permissible working tensile stress is 250 Newton per centimeter, centimeter square. So again, you can observe here. This is again in CGS pattern, but we have to convert it into SI unit. Simultaneously, we are extracting the data. Thickness is small t is given. Density means rho is given. Permissible working tensile stress means maximum tensile stress sigma is given as 250 Newton per centimeter square. Determine the width of the belt taking centrifugal tension into account. So we have to calculate the width of the belt that is small b considering the effect of centrifugal tension. So while you are solving it or while you are writing this question you should underline this part that is centrifugal tension. So considering the effect of centrifugal tension if it is asked then you have to consider it. If it is not asked then you need not to consider the effect of centrifugal tension. So few things you need to remember you need to underline over here is the unit over here the unit of density unit of stress and the centrifugal tension so these three parts are important while solving the question. Now the data given so power is 30 kilowatt we need to convert it into watts the diameter is given diameter of driving pulley as well as the speed of the driving pulley so d1 and one both are given. Now the angle of lap theta is given 11 by 24th of 360 degrees so we need to multiply it what we will get is 165 degrees now this theta as we know we require it in terms of radians so we need to multiply it with pi by 180 so finally we will get the answer of angle of lap as 2.88 radians coefficient of friction is given as 0.3 thickness of the belt is 9.5 mm so we need to convert it into meters 9.5 into 10 raise to minus 3 permissible stress permissible stress is maximum permissible stress that indicates that it is the maximum stress so it is sigma maximum it is given as 250 newton per centimeter square remember this unit newton per centimeter square so centimeter square to meter centimeter to meter we need to multiply by 10 raise to minus 2 if it is square so it is 10 raise to minus 4 as it is in denominator once it comes in the numerator it will be 10 raise to 4 so we will get 20, 250 into 10 raise to 4 newton per meter square now conversion is important here for the density also 1 gram per centimeter cube so numerator as well as denominator both are in CGS unit we need to convert both in SI unit so gram to kilogram and centimeter to meter 
so 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 so if you multiply 10 raised to minus 3 it will get converted into kg and centi centimeter to meter 10 raised to minus 2 so cube so bracket cube so 10 raised to minus 2 bracket cube what you will get is 1 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 10 raised to minus 6 this 10 raised to minus 6 it will go to numerator and it will become 10 raised to plus 6 so 10 raised to minus 3 and 10 raised to plus 6 we will get is 10 raised to plus 3 or 1000 kg per meter cube so density of the belt comes as 1000 kg per meter cube and finally we have to find width of the belt so this is the data given now we need to analyze how we are going to solve this question so width of the belt we need to find that is small b so to find a small b we have a simple formula as the stress is given so maximum permissible stress is given so, so we already know we had solved uh, uh, similar questions in the past that maximum stress is given as maximum tension divided by area so it is force per unit area force is tension in the belt so maximum stress is maximum force per unit cross sectional area of the belt so t max now here you can observe v b is width of the belt which we have to find sigma max is given thickness is given and t max that is maximum tension of the belt we need to find out but you need to you need to know remember that this maximum tension is not t1 now because in the question it is clearly mentioned that we have to consider the effect of centrifugal force so when centrifugal force is considered the maximum tension will become t1 plus tc so in this equation t1 is also unknown as well as tc is also unknown so both the things are unknown over here so we have to find both t1 as well as tc so if you are going to find t1 simply we have two formulas because we don't have uh, any single formula in which we can find t1 directly so we have to use two formulas one is the equation of power so power is equal to t1 minus t2 into v in which power is given velocity of the belt we can easily find that is pi dn upon 60 t1 and t2 both are unknown so as there are two unknowns in this equation one equation two unknowns we can't solve so we need a second equation to solve this equation so the second velocity of the belt we can find pi as pi d1 n1 upon 60 which all the data is given so the second equation we need is t limiting tension ratio t1 upon t2 is equal to e raised to mu theta in which mu is given theta we had already found out as it is 2.88 and t1 upon t2 so both are unknown so in both equations while comparing t1 and t2 is unknown in power equation as well as t1 and t2 is also unknown in this equation so as two unknowns are there and we have two equations we can easily solve and we can find t1 now let's talk about tc so to the formula of tc is simple tc is equal to m v square where m is mass per unit length and v is the velocity of the belt velocity of the belt we had already found out over here that is pi d1 n1 upon 60 so only we have to find is mass per unit length of the belt now mass per unit length so mass we already given with the density density is mass per unit volume so to find mass per unit length simply we can multiply it with the area as the unit of density is kg per meter cube if we multiply it with one meter one meter if we multiply density that is kg per meter cube with meter square so what will remain is meter square meter square will get cancelled and remain remaining will be kg per meter that is the required mass per unit length that's why mass per unit length will be given as density into area you should remember this formula if you don't analyze it simply remember the formula that mass per unit length will be the density rho into the area so area is b into t that is width into thickness into rho if we already ha have rho we have t but b is unknown over here so how we are going to solve it even 
we have a single unknown over here so we can't fi find tc directly instead of finding tc we will find centrifugal tension in terms of b so in this equation we will put the value of centrifugal in terms of b whereas t1 is known as t1 is a constant which we are going to find from these two equations so t1 is constant and tc is in terms of b that means t max we are going to find in terms of some constant as well as in terms of b so we will put the value over here in the equation of stress so t max will be in terms of b sigma max is known t is known only b is unknown so b in the denominator is unknown and b in the numerator will be unknown so the, the we will get a single equation in terms of single unknown b one equation and one unknown we can easily solve so th that's how we are going to solve this question so first step limiting tension ratio t1 upon t2 is equal to e raised to mu theta so we'll put all the values mu is 0 0.3 theta we had found out as 2.88 so the equation we will find it, the ratio is 2.37 multiply 2.37 with t2 from here so we will we get t1 is equal to 2.37 into t2 name it as equation number 1 now velocity of the belt pi d1 n1 upon 60 both the all the values are known just put all the values and we will find velocity of the belt it comes as 23.56 meter per second next formula is power transmitted by the belt drive so power is known velocity of the belt we had just found out so put all the values power is 13 to 10 cube velocity of the belt and from equation 1 we will put t1 as 2.372 so it is it becomes single equation with single unknown in, the, in terms of t2 so while so, when we solve this equation we will find t2 so t2 comes at 927.69 newtons put this value of t2 in equation number 1 so we will find t1 t1 comes as 2200.93 newtons so finally we had find, found t1 now we have to find the centrifugal tension so for that first we have to find mass per unit length in terms of b so mass per unit length is area into density it, that is bt into rho so b t is already given b is unknown and rho is 1000 or 10 raised to 3 so we will find m that is mass per unit length in terms of b so we have found out m as 9.5 into b remember its unit its unit is kg per meter the centrifugal tension tc is equal to mv square tc is equal to mv square so m we had find out that is 9.5 b just above now velocity of the belt we had just found out by using the formula pi d in 1 upon 60 so it is 23.56 bracket square put all the values we will find tc in terms of b so it comes as 5274.049 into b so we had found tc now we can put this in the formula of maximum tension so maximum tension is t1 plus tc we had found t1 we had found tc in terms of b so put both the values over here so t1 is 2200.93 and tc is 5274.049 into b so we had found out T max that is maximum tension so permissible maximum stress in the belt that is equal to sigma max equal to T max upon BT so put all the values sigma max is already given T max we just found out in the above equation so put that value over here and B is unknown and thickness is given so in this equation B and B in both are unknown in the numerator as well as in the denominator so both are unknown but in the single equation there is single unknown as one equation and one unknown so we can easily solve it so let's solve this equation to find b so b comes as 0 
meters or we can find it in terms of mm so b is 119.1 mm that's the final answer which has been asked in the question so finally we had found width of the belt considering the effect of centrifugal tension so this much should be the width of the belt while transmitting 30 kilowatt power with the help of belt drive in the given as per the given data thank you all of you see you in the next session